I'm going to be explaining the nifty nine strategy for multiplying by nine. Use this strategy when you're multiplying by nine. For example, I'm going to show you an easy way to find out that nine times seven is 63. Nine times seven equals 63 can be written with the dot for multiplication, the asterisk for multiplication, or it can be written with parentheses. And all these are options on computers and in algebra. These are the facts from the multiplication table that we're going to be using the strategy on today. So here's how it is, and it's an easy strategy. Let's say we're multiplying 4 times 9. Count the number of fingers from the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you fold down that finger. Since we're multiplying by 4, you fold down the fourth finger. You count the fingers to the left, which is 3, which means the answer is going to be 30 something. You count the fingers to the right, which is 6, which means there's going to be a 6 in the ones place, and the answer is 36. Now I'd like to show you this in action with a video. Okay, I'm going to show you the nifty nine strategy for using our hands to figure out the nine facts. The first one we're going to do is nine times three. So we start with our palms up. We start from the left and we take the third finger because we're multiplying by nine times three and fold that down. To the left of the folded finger we have two, which means 20, and to the right of the folded down finger we have seven fingers so the answer is 27. 9 times 3 equals 27. Now let's do another one. Maybe 9 times 7. So we're going to count to the seventh finger and fold that one down. Take a look at the fingers to the left which there are 6. Make 60 and to the right we have 3 so therefore 9 times 7 equals 63. It's important to note that all the 9 facts for 1 times 9 through 10 times 9, if you look at the two digits, the two digits always add up to 9. 3 and 6 is 9, 4 and 5 is 9, 7 and 2, even 9 and 0 is 9. This is important to notice and thinking about the strategy with your hands, one finger is folded down, leaving 9 fingers. Let's do a quick application. You work six hours for your part-time job on a Saturday. You are paid $9 per hour. What is your pay for the day before taxes? We're going to need to multiply nine times six and we get 54 for that. So our answer is $54. Quick mental math use. Some examples of using mental math, working in a concession stand at a ball game, making change, cost of four boxes of Girl Scout cookies or four bags of Boy Scout caramel corn. I hope you find the Nifty Nine strategy useful. Have a great day.